Let's now consider a little bit about how we have jobs or customers entering a queue. So remember that we draw a queue like this. It is a buffer into which uh, there are arrivals at the rate lambda. And let's just call them customers to keep terminology consistent. And the customers will receive service from a server and then they depart at some rate mu. So in our discussion so far, we pretty much assumed that the customers are uh, coming from an infinite population, or, or this represents a, uh, a a system where we have essentially such a large number of such a large number of potential customers that the arrival rate does not depend on the number of people in the queue. But imagine that you're in a small town which has only let's say 20 residents, and there's a supermarket there where they want to go shopping. So if uh, the arrival rate is some value over here, and let's say there are uh, 15 residents in the queue, then it's obvious that there are only five residents left, so it's very unlikely that we will have the same arrival rate as when we had 15. So uh, in this situation, the arrival rate will decrease. So the, the, so the arrival rate is therefore going to decrease when the number of when the number of members in the queue which is n is large and this typically is, is, is arises in a population where the customers arrive are in a service and then they're going to be going back into the system again and get service later on and so when you have the infinite population we call this an open system and when the arrival rate decreases when n is large, then this is called a closed system. And so the main reason why I bring it up is because we have to be very careful when you're doing measurements whether the system is open or closed. If the system is open, then uh, measurements that we take are going to be valid uh, when even in other situations as long as that population is also open. But quite often we will take measurements from one closed system, for example when the population is as I said 20, and we use it in a different closed system where the population is let's say 2000, and when this happens the measurements that are taken in the first closed system cannot really be used in another closed system. So in other words, if one were to practically measure the size of the queue for a population of 20, and you say, oh, the mean queue length is about 10 customers, for example, and you say, well, we expect that this is going to hold for other populations, that won't necessarily be the case, because if the population size changes, then the values measured for the closed system won't hold anymore. So we have to be very careful in doing measurements, whether it's being taken from an open system or a closed system.